than a kid no warrior. Yep, Paramount has announced not only the fact that they're making Sonic 3 at the end of the year and they just released a new movie in The Tiger's Apprentice, but now also there is a Knuckles series coming out and we're getting a full on trailer. You can see it behind me right now. It's a full on official trailer, not just a teaser with a single logo or anything. And I was not expecting this news at all. Apparently, actually, the Knuckles series has been leaked for quite a few months now. I'm seeing all sorts of other YouTube videos going over like the names of every titles. I can't really pass much information out of them, so I won't really be delving onto them here. Plus, they might change with a bit of time. But I can go off of what we do actually see physically here. And since this is a TV series that Paramount are putting out, you can kind of tell. The quality of this trailer looks pretty good. The visuals are pretty on point. Sonic does, however, look a little bit cheaper, just a little bit different, but it's to the point that I don't actually think it matters. What does matter is how they've actually chosen to adapt this story. The Paramount version of the live action Sonics are in their own realm already very original, right? This isn't just an adaptation of Sonic X or a straight to movie Sonic Adventure 2. And this series is taking that even more so out of its usual field. As in this series, Knuckles is just out in the live action world. I don't know where James Marsden is. He hasn't made any appearance in this trailer so far. But instead, there's a new James Marsden. There is another now live action protagonist to sit in a car with this animated CGI character. It, to me, feels a little bit weird, a little bit strangely formulaic to add on to it, and to be honest, it is kind of my least favourite prospect of this Knuckles series so far. When I imagine, oh, we're going to make a series out of Knuckles from the live-action hybrid movies, I want to see Knuckles. I want to see him interacting with Sonic and Tails, the more fantastical, Sonic-y elements of the Sonic franchise, right? We don't come to Sonic Movie to watch James Marsden, we've just been slowly coerced to enjoy his company. And perhaps because of pure exposure or the fact that it's James Marsden, we have come to accept James Marsden, but in this Knuckles series, it's being helmed by Adam Pally, playing the role of Wade Whippy, apparently. He's uh, one of the police officers, actually, I believe, in the show. I'm not fully convinced on his character yet. He is classic American comedian to bounce off of our Knuckles character. And I, I don't like it yet. So far, it just seems a little bit too almost formulaic. I don't know. It's clear that that's going to be quite a main focus since he's clearly the protagonist character on the side. And I'm, I'm not fully convinced. However, practically everything else we have seen regarding this series, I am 100% on board on in all sorts of ways. There are all sorts of Knuckles references you can catch. You can see Knuckles gliding with his comedian on top. That's quite fun. There's a shot of Knuckles wearing his cowboy outfit, which is brilliant. A nice homage to the more classic Sonic, I guess. But kind of the newer Sonic Mania Sonics. You get the idea. It's interesting. There's a whole element of casinos, which are a massive part of the Sonic games that are finally being adapted in hopefully a way that's not too controversial. I'm sure they've worked it out. From what I can gather from the episode titles, as much as I did just say I wasn't going to rely on them, um, there are two that mention a place called Reno. I think that's the casino area. They even sound similar. Reno, casino, maybe, uh, who cares? What happens in Reno stays in Reno. We, you know, cool, we'll go with that. Additionally, Sonic and Tails do make an appearance in this series. I just am unsure how much of a prevalence they will make. And I guess that's fine. Every shot with them will be brilliant eye candy. We see a moment of Tails even holding the Master Emerald, and I don't think that's from the movies. That being said, this is still a Paramount movie with the same strange traits as the Sonic movies, so there's already, in just this first trailer alone, a very blasé, in-your-face product placement in the form of Doritos that he's eating under the tree. All right, fine. You know, it's like, it's still paramount through and through. It's gonna have some hurdles. So the story, as I can understand it, in the early days at least, is Knuckles is trying to train this police officer to be a new warrior. Jokes ensue, probably. But the real interesting actual opposite kicker is the villain. It is Mr. Hot Fuzz Yarp. It is Mr. The Hound from Game of Thrones. It is Rory McCann as our super villain. Kind of again though, being a formulaic clone of the first movie. We've got a human protagonist who shares a car with our CGI guy, and now we have a live action villain who is also like a robotic pro. I, I guess it's easier than doing original CGI villain characters as much as I kind of would have loved it to be. E, you know, E102 Gamma or 
grows or something. Thank you for making it halfway through this video. If you'd like more news, I'm keeping up as best I can. Come subscribe and you'll see the rest. Check out my channel to see all the other movie news that released just this week. And then there's going to be more at the Super Bowl this weekend. But for now, I'll let you get back to all there is to know about Knuckles the series. But fine, another live action guy. It's basically Iron Man villains is what this is. Apparently he was an employee of Robotnik once. Never established, but you know, fun. I love everything that Rory is in. I'm sure they would do a great job of what they do. They showcase that even Knuckles as well has some quill powers. They're just going for the second rate CGI hero and not the main blue guy. Fine. And then you've also got two other humans that are involved to be the goons on the side. I like... I'm sure I will get to like them, I just, I, I would rather it be more, you know, Sonic inspired rather than just original people trying to bounce off of them. But it looks like it's got a lot of potential. The visuals are pretty great, all things considered. Just don't think about the logic of how they managed to dig out an entire set piece inside the middle of a house instantly. Apparently Knuckles is just a master architect in his warrior ways. I don't know. Now, even more surprising is the fact that this series is soon. All of these trailers, they're dropping in February. Apparently, they've been planned for ages. This series comes out April 26th. This is two months away. And so, they're kind of doing the Marvel thing of bringing out straight-to-streaming series to bolster up the main next movie. Sonic 3 doesn't come out until December, so I wouldn't be surprised if there are going to be some special hidden characters coming in to get involved. There'll probably be another shadow teaser at the end of the sixth episode, but I don't know, I could see Rouge coming in to something like this. Rouge is quite an integral part to the Knuckles story, that it would be almost a miss to not have her in the whole of season one. Although they'll probably just roll this out to season two straight after the third movie as well. I don't know. Also, I've just noticed this as I'm watching the trailer on loop in the background. There are other things that do make an appearance that I'm actually super excited for. There is another CGI character in the form of the Grand Master Echidna Tribe people. I don't know if it's one of the specific characters of his Echidna Tribe, but they make an appearance. They'll get an episode. Lovely. And then straight afterwards, there's another shot of another product placement of Knuckles wearing a Meta Quest 3. He's clearly not as on board as our current, current trends. Meanwhile, Sonic is dancing in front of a ring light. There is an episode where they want to be influencers. You know what? Maybe I'm not as interested in this miniseries as I first thought. It has potential, but it's going into some strange directions. Now, there are some other cast members that have been mentioned, but are only mentioned so far in leaks, like Christopher Lloyd. But I won't go into all the pure details on that, because things could always change. Maybe Reno is not even the name of the casino place they go to, you know? So, on more of the behind the scenes production side of things, there are a couple of other notes that I've missed in my just, you know, my knee jerk reaction to this series. Um, apparently, of all things, um, Japan is apparently getting this series later than most other places, which is an ironic reversal on the Sonic core, but okay, sure, great. And apparently we'll be getting an additional look at Knuckles during the Super Bowl this Sunday. Great! Oh, I've got all the more things to keep up on. Brilliant. You know, it's gotten to the point now that I've been uploading so much recently over every announcement and news coming out since February is a hot pot for movie marketing, I've come to learn, that it's to the point that YouTube literally asks me to verify my identity every time I upload again. They legitimately think I am scamming you guys. They're wrong. It's the movie industry that's spamming me to spam you guys. Now, apparently, the character of Knuckles is also set to make a surprise appearance during Nickelodeon's specialized live broadcast of football's biggest night, according to Variety, which is, oh, all right, okay, I guess Super Bowl, I've really got to pay attention to the Super Bowl this year. Which team are the Lakers? I need to know. That is a joke. I slightly know what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, and forget the leaked cast. We do actually have a confirmed cast list coming alongside starring this series, including the likes of Eddie Patterson, Scott Mescudi, Christopher Lloyd, Stockard Channing, Ellie Taylor, Julian Barrett, Paul Shear, Rory McCann, of course, we mentioned that one earlier, Rob Hubel, Kerry Elwis, and of course, Ben Schwartz and Colleen O'Shaughnessy. Oh, as well as Tika Sumter as well. I mean, we see her in the trailer, it makes sense. Who knows where James Marsden is? Not apparently confirmed. He's too big and untouchable now after being in that one... <laughs> courtroom prank show. Meanwhile, we have apparently directors for each individual episode, which I think is actually kind of interesting. As a little bit more of a film geek that likes hearing about the behind the scenes a bit, that's actually quite fascinating. I'm curious to see how that turns out with everyone doing things differently. We have Jeff Fowler doing the pilot episode, the same as the movies. Then we've got Ged Wright, Brandon Trost, Jorma Taconi, who we heard about as well recently this week, 
and Carol Banker. Meanwhile, Jeff Fowler and Idris Elba are working as executive producers. They just, you know, they get a hand in the stuff they work. All the power to them. Then the other executive producers are Neil H. Moritz, Toby Asher, John Whittington, and Toru Nakahara. A lot of overlap from, you know, the Sonic movies as a whole. We mentioned them when we were talking about Sonic 3 recently. And the actual creator of the Knuckles series is John Whittington, and the showrunner is Toby Asher. You know, they're all involved. They're doing things. At least it's very good. It makes sense that the movie people are working on the TV series. So it's kind of got all the best chance it could get. They just make some interesting decisions on the side. This is literally Iron Man 2. Look, there's an electric whip villain. Of course, I say that. The poster for this series, well, one of the taglines is, he just hits different. So, you know, maybe this, uh... <laughs> Still a Parabout production. And there you are, that's all there is to know so far. Just a simple little quick update. I wasn't planning to upload today. I kind of thought the two uploads yesterday for The Tiger's Apprentice and also Moana 2 was enough. But no, we're, we're back again. And then we'll be back again on Sunday to talk about whatever else they show about the Knuckles series. And then in two months time, the series is out. I actually have relatively high hopes. It's gonna be a little bit cheaper, a little bit worse than the movies. It's gonna be some weird Paramount directions, but I think all in all, it's looking to be a pretty solid show. It's got a pretty damn good IP to bounce off of after all. And I finally worked out how to access Paramount Plus projects in the UK. It's available on YouTube for me, so I'm at least content in that regard. So on that note, I'm gonna end it off here. My name's been Daz. Thank you for reaching it to the end. What are your predictions for the Knuckles series? Or maybe more specifically, what do you think's going to be the role of Christopher Lloyd? Is it going to be a voice acting part of a new CGI character? He's, you know, he's probably the Akita Tribe character now I think about it. But if not, what do you think? Is he in person? Is he a supervillain that's bigger than the electric guy? Let me know your thoughts and I will see you in a little bit.